welcome back people um, as I have a bee buzzing around me currently um, and well he just decided to travel inside <laughs> I have my slider door open okay so um, looks like beautiful day out here <laughs> We have the beautiful fall changes kick in. Alright. <laughs> yeah. You know why I'm laughing if, if you've been following my channel right along. Well anyways, let's let's get on with this. Um I am first and foremost, okay, I, I've got quite a little bit here that I want to discuss and get off my chest. Okay. Here's a little warning about this platform for all you people. Um if you're a content creator and you're using music through YouTube, well, there's a uh, there's quite a little bit of changes that's been kicking. And personally, uh, you know, I, I've used music and some of my past content through one app, and every time that I do so, I get these claims added to my content. Okay, now. You know what is occurring now with claims? Well, my latest news broadcast recording, they applied a claim on that now. I have never gotten a claim over any of my news broadcast recordings until this one hmm so that means that they are getting more and more stricter with their censorship due to content because I've noticed a lot of other channels out there that you know there is nothing in their descriptions over the copyrighted material that they use but yet they are monetized Hmm. Yeah. Once again, I'm just exposing that many more deceptions to this platform. But I'm going to keep using the platform. And possibly, with my fingers crossed, until there is no more platform. <laughs> so, now with that being said, let's really get into the nitty gritty, shall we? Of course, if you've been following along with my channel, or if you know my channel and know the content thereof, I focus a lot on the sky, on the clouds, on the greater light and the lesser light, a.k.a. the sun and the moon. I don't really make mention of the stars that often. Why? Well, pfft. I don't record at night, and... I know enough about the stars to satisfy me. So, once again, let's get back to the sun and moon. So, in a previous recording yesterday, I believe it was, yeah, yesterday, I made mention about this asteroid that is supposed to be caught within Earth's gravitational field. And it is to become a secondary moon, possibly, uh, for approximately 53 days or so, right? This is a real kicker. Now that that has been reported, you know, let, me, let me backtrack just a little bit more. Once again, if you know my content, and know my channel, and know of my speakings on the sun and the moon, uh, more so the moon, as I like to refer to as Miss Luna. I have given my theoretical opinion over how the moon was created. Now, I base a lot of my theories and opinions on ancient writings, okay? Now, if you take this planet 
and if you view it in the spherical form and you take away all of the water on this planet to where it is just you know rock and dirt left and whatever else no water you will see a planet that appears to have had quite the destructive cataclysm, cataclysm at one point and the waters filled in this <laughs> well or this scarring if you will of this planet and in the ancient writings it describes how this planet was formed as well as the moon now within my theory I talk about how uh, the craters were formed on the moon I'm not going to go back into that. Well, September 28th, 2024, two days ago, after the fact of this, you know, this possible asteroid being caught within the gravitational field of Earth, NASA has come out with a new theory that was presented on the 28th. And I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can read about this for yourselves. They have a new theory that the moon was not formed according to what they previously believed. Okay? Now, notice my wording there. That is very important. So be very sure that you, you check out this link. It's going to take you to, not a video, um, it is a write-up through NASA, their little story of their new theory. Yeah. <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and move on to the last thing that I want to bring up. And this is, this is really cool. Okay. If you watched my video from last night about that strange glowing cloud that was moving until it went out of sight while there was no, no light here from the setting sun whatsoever. It already far surpassed the stage of setting. And we had a couple of <clears throat> clouds glowing quite brightly. And they were moving, as I stated in that video, from the northeast to the southwest. Okay. And I'm going to show you a little bit more of what I mean. Okay, so what I am showing here is a map of Michigan showing the counties of Michigan with the upper and lower peninsula being shown. Now what is not being shown because of copyright issues um, is huh, everything that I have covered. Now. Let's go ahead and zoom in here, and I want to show you. Okay, you can see, whoa, sorry, um, yeah, I, ooh, I am here in Allegan County, okay, and basically in this corner, of Allegan County. This object was flying in this direction, okay from northeast oh sorry to southwest okay so if it was traveling in that direction then it would have been cutting through Van Buren County and on down through Berrien and then out of state into uh, Illinois alright now 
We're going to, oh, there we go, blurring out again. We are going to go from this point here, where my I'm at, and we're going to go ahead and go to Van Buren County for just a moment. I'll explain why. Okay, so as stated, I awoke early morning, 3 o'clock this morning, seeing my the, the little red LED light on my phone flashing, indicating that I um, had missed either a phone call or a text message. And so I went ahead and checked that out. And I had received a text, text message as well as a video through text messaging. Now I am not going to make mention of the source of this, but I am going to include this little video clip, which is more of an audio clip, and mind you, you will more than likely need headphones in order to hear this. This is very important. Because this person says, hey, this, this thing just went over my property and man, the sound of it, really, really crazy. Well, whether or not it might have been the same, I'm just going to say object that I recorded within the clouds that was right up in here. Whether it was the same object or not, that is debatable. But the sound is very in interesting and quite intriguing. And so, you know, just playing the connected dots, I decided, okay, you know what, I think this is valuable enough to where I'm going to add this in, just as a follow-up to, you know, to what I had recorded and what this person had recorded. So once again, you will have to crank up the volume the best you can, listen close, because you can hear this, like, whir whir whirring sound, whirling sound, I don't know, it, it's, it's kind of, yeah, it, it's a unique sound, let's say that, and, it, and it's kind of reminiscent of certain sounds that I myself have heard in the past. So make sure um, <laughs> to listen the best that you can. And once again, you know, just kind of loosely connecting this together, okay? Uh, but it is uncanny how information comes to me. The possible connections through the information. And I, I have to say, that this is really, I mean, after, like I said previously, all of these events that have transpired within this month, and I mean, and me telling everyone out there, hey, you know, just wait, wait, wait for September. You know, every year I'm, I'm recording crazy stuff. And wow, yeah. And not only that, there's been so many things that have occurred in this month, and especially just within the last couple of weeks. I mean, uh, so much more than what I have even mentioned on this channel. But with this uh, new subject or topic of the moon, and <laughs> and then we have, you know, uh, China with all their technology, such as the Sun Simulator, and, and then some of what I have been recording. Man, I, I'm telling you, it, it's, it's a weird, weird, weird world. After all. 